Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my stop on the Emergency Card Essentials Hop. If you haven't yet heard the news, Sarah Liz of Sassy's LLC has just released her first products with Trinity Stamps, the Emergency Card Essentials 1 and 2 die sets. These sets are going to help you create your cards quickly and easily with lots of basic shapes and fun elements. To find out more about the products, check out the links in the description box below. And like I mentioned before, my video is just part of a hop with other crafty friends. Make sure to keep watching to find out how you're going to hop along to see everybody's videos and to find out how you can be entered to win a giveaway. For my project today, I'm going to be using Emergency Card Essentials number one. And for my sentiment, I'm going to use the Emergency Card Essentials printable that Sarah Liz created to go with this. The fun thing is that those are circles and she has included some dies to cut those out and map them easy peasy. Now, as I get in the process, I'll tell you more about the products and what I'm using. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. Before I started filming, I did do some die cutting prep. I used the rectangle with the angled piece on a piece of white cardstock. For now, I'm going to put the top part to the side. I'll use that for a different project. And using that cute little scallop border, I cut some scraps from a recent project, three of each color. I'm going to get started by getting the scallop strips added to the angled piece and I did prefer it going from the bottom left to the upper right so I just flipped my piece of cardstock over. To get started I got out some liquid glue and put it on the back of the first strip and on this one I did make sure to take some time and align it right against that edge just so I get started with a nice straight piece to align the rest of them too. For the second piece, I'm going to move on to the next color, kind of the maroonish color, and add adhesive to the back. Now for this one, I didn't try to line up the scallops so they were perfectly on top of each other. Instead, I kind of offset them. That way they don't have to look perfect and it's still really fun. While I work on getting the rest of those added, I wanted to tell you more about the hop and the giveaway. First, I know that you're going to want to hop around and see what all of the artists have created with Sarah Liz's and Trinity Stamps new die sets. So to see everybody's creations, I have a playlist linked at the top of the description box below where you can go just for a one-stop shop for all of the videos. And I will also have that same playlist linked as an end card at the end of my video. I know that everyone would appreciate you stopping by, seeing what they've created, and of course, leaving them some love in the comments. And a bonus today to celebrate the launch of these fabulous new die sets, Trinity Stamps is giving away a $25 shopping spree to their online store. To enter, you'll want to fill out the form that I have linked down in the description box. I will put that toward the top as well. And you have until October 22nd to enter. Winners are going to be announced on the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook group on the 23rd. So make sure if you don't already follow them in all of those places that you do that, I will be sure to have all of the links down in the description box. Good luck! As I continued to build this piece, it just made me smile. I love the colors. It just reminds me of a party. Now, when I got to the bottom, I couldn't decide if I was going to go past where the corner was and fill up all the white, but I did decide to just stop where that last kind of dark orange strip was, and then I'll have some white space over on the bottom right. After it had dried completely, I brought in some long handled scissors and cut off the excess. When I do something like this, I just try to keep one of my blades right up against the piece of cardstock. Off camera, I created a top fold turquoise card base and I used some of those leftover scallop strips to decorate the inside. 
I'm going to add the angled piece to the bottom front of my card base and it leaves about an eighth of an inch border on the left, right, and bottom. This card made me think of a birthday party with a pinata, so I wanted to go with one of the birthday sentiments from Sarah Liz's printables. She has some of your basic birthday ones and also then just a couple of hilarious ones. I did decide to go ahead and keep it pretty straight and I'm using the a very happy birthday to you. Now in the die set there are some different circles. There's a circle that fits exactly almost the sentiment and if you use the second printable or the second option that has the outline circle, that die is going to fit right inside of that so you know where to place it. I did want a little bit more space around my sentiment so I went with this circle the next size up and to add some more of those pretty scallops I am also using the scallop circle for a mat. I cut those off camera using the brighter orange for my scallop circle and I added some foam tape to the back of that because so far my card is pretty flat and I wanted a little dimension. I place my white circle in the center of its mat and because there's kind of like an embossed circle within the scallop it was easy to get it centered on there. Now before I go and put this on the card, I did put some liquid glue on top of that foam tape. That way when I go to place it on the card front, that little buffer with the liquid glue gives me some wiggle time to get it placed just right. To finish the card off, I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I brought in the glossy holographic enamel dots. I just like how the holographic part of this is going to catch all of those colors around it and kind of help it match the card. I ended up putting three around the circle, and here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this quick, cute, and colorful card using the brand new Emergency Card Essentials die set number one. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to hop along to the other artists. You can use the playlist end card here in just a minute or the links in the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.